My name is Brian, this is the Vapor Chronicles, and today we're gonna take a look at a little something from Ginger Vapor. This is the Boxer Mod Classic Bottom Feeder Squonk Mechanical Mod. And let me tell you something, this thing is absolutely special, unique. Uh, it does things that I've never had a Squonk device do before. Now, I'm not a Squonkologist, I'm not an expert, I don't have every Squonk mod. I got a couple, and this is definitely in the top tier of Squonk mods. Uh, I've been vaping the shit out of it for a few weeks now. I have refilled it, filled it, taken it apart, put it back together again, thrown builds on it, vaped the hell out of it, and I got a whole lot to show you. So let's take a closer look. All right, so here's the outside of the package. I'm not really sure if this is the final retail packaging or not, but this is what it came in. Looks really nice. Gingervapor.com. I already have the mod out of here because I've been using it like crazy, putting it through all of its paces. And uh, yeah, so this comes off and it came with this nice little bag. I'm gonna start with this built and I'm gonna go from there and break it down for you and take it apart and show you all the ins and outs, all the pros and the cons and everything about this thing. Uh, this is a fully mechanical mod. It's 3D printed, powered by a single 18650 battery. They're also gonna have a 2700 slash 21700 version available. We'll look at that in the future. But as you can see here, this is your window for squonking. Really small. I love the size of the little window here and the reason for its size and the reason you don't see the battery or anything like that is this bottle. This bottle is so soft, so flexible and easy to squonk, and uh, I'm going to show you that in a little bit. All right. If you've never held a 3D printed mod before, they're very, very light. Okay, They are a nylon plastic, and it's printed on a 3D printer, and you can see all this was designed by Ginger Vapor. And this is your fire button. We're going to get into that in a little bit. This is to access the battery compartment, uh, but super light very very small you know this is a Pomeranian it fits in the palm of the hand you can fire away very ergonomic and very very comfortable but this little you know uh, roughness that you see here on the finish is really good for grip I love 3d printed mods for the grip that they provide but they're also very lightweight I also adore this product because of the firing button the fact that I can push this up like that lock it and I love it I love it I love it I love it so right now nothing as soon as I want to vape, push it down, and then you can fire away. Push it up, no fire. Getting the juice to flow in this thing requires so little effort. You can just see a little bit of push goes a long way. Now I did notice with the switch there is a little bit of movement here. You can see a little bit of movement. And I can hear that a little bit if I shake this pretty rapid. Um, so there is a little button rattle, but I think the trade-off to have this little rocker that's in here that allows you to switch it up and down, I think it's a, it's a fair concession, and I think it's acceptable for me. So you can see on the top, really, really nice. Look at this beautifully flush 510 right here. Well done. Everything is removable since it's a mechanical mod for replacement or cleaning. Large contact area, nice threads. Everything's perfect for the 510. Love it. To access your battery compartment, all you want to do <clears throat> is just grab right here and just pull, and you'll see that it's sort of press fit. Since this is a you know a nylon, it's flexible, and you can see that there's these little ridges right here and right here, and there's also a catch right here and right here, and basically you know this just slides under the lip here and here, and then the back side just sort of bends down and just snaps right in. But it's secure, it's solid, and it fits really nice. Also in here you'll notice there's a positive and a negative battery indicator so you know which way to put your battery in. You always want to be careful with mechanical mods not to put them in upside down. And there's just lots of thought that went into engineering this. Even the little lips right here, everything's purposeful and everything is just well done. So they do sell these batteries on the website and uh, you can find them at the link below. And I love also accessibility for the battery. This is the 18650 version, and you can see that, you know, positive, negative, and that goes hand in hand with this. 
negative to positive, and everything's sort of placed in there correctly. But to remove your battery, you just grab a hold of it and you just pull. And there's no torn cases, nothing grabs, nothing's out of sorts, because it just slides in to the contacts here and also here. This is the super soft silicone food grade squonk bottle, seven milliliters of juice capacity. And uh, you know, all the threads, the materials, everything is just super well done. What I'm gonna show you is gonna help you a tremendous amount with putting your bottle on, all right? It's always difficult when this is full to not spill in here when you're doing it, especially with these soft bottles. So in a little bit, I'm gonna fill this up and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, all right? But let's take a look inside of here. Look how beautiful this is. Look at the box or how even the 3D printing inside here follows the, the same pattern from outside. Look at that. They didn't have to do that. That's just really, really passion that you're seeing right there, that they just continue it on like that. And uh, it also acts to hold your bottle so it's contoured. Love it. Now you can see your switch behind there with the roller. So when it's up top, it doesn't fire. When you slide it down here, it does fire. So there's where it makes flat contact. When your bottle's in there, you can see it's perfectly even where it actually hits to make contact for your, for your fire button. So everything is removable, you can access everything, I got a little juice on there, but check this out. This is your rhodium plated beryllium copper contacts. Beautiful. Alright, so here is everything broken down, you can see that the actual chassis itself is right here. There's your button. The way the button works, it just sort of slides in here like this. You don't want to lose this because this comes out, but this slides in and then it lays down. And when it's in the up position, it catches a little lip at the top. Okay. The bottom here, I think this is like a Delrin or something like that, but that's where this locks in underneath the mod. And then you have this little pin at the bottom that locks it in place. As I said, this is all rhodium plated, so you don't have to worry about it ever needing to be cleaned or anything like that. It should have real good long-term long -term durability, and it is copper. So you're going to have virtually zero voltage drop. This thing hits hard as hell. This is your where your uh, little tube connects to, and this is your 510. It allows juice to flow up. It allows you to make positive contact with your atomizer. And it is spring-loaded, as I said before. All right, so let's put this back together, okay? All right, so a little, two little tricks that I do. When I'm dealing with these really soft squonker bottles, or any bottles for that matter, uh, I like to take a little blue or black screwdriver, and I like to just make sure it's clean, obviously, and just plug this up. It allows me to sort of grip this and be careful to unscrew this without worrying about it leaking, okay, or pushing juice out the top, especially when it's more full. All right, so I'm just going to take this off. You do have to cut this to length when you get it. And we're going to be using a little bit of this custard from Hometown uh, e-liquid. Really tasty stuff. All right, so once this is full, I'm going to just take my little tube and I'm just going to spin this back down again. Very careful not to squeeze this bottle, but this is protected at the top from squeezing out. And I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and tight. All 
All right, so once that's tight, I'm going to lift this up a little bit, get a little bit of length here. And this is the star of the show. This is the trick that's going to help you so much. You want to take your tweezers, okay, if you have some tweezers, and just grip right at the base here, right below. Make sure there's enough room at the top here. And you want to grip it nice and tight, okay? So remove this, grip this nice and tight, and then just take this over. And you're squeezing it. I mean, I'm putting some serious pressure on And all you do is you just take this and you find your tube, push it in, grab a hold of it, slide it up, and there you go. You're in. I do also recommend that you have your whatever RDA you're using first uh, already placed in there so that if it does happen to squeeze some fluid in there, that you're not going to sort of flood the 510. Alright, so if everything goes correctly, you should be able to lightly push this. Yep, look at that, beautiful. A little bit of pressure and it just floods it right up. No leaking. Everything's firing nice before, so I'll slide this down and push. And I'm making a great contact. And we're going to pop the battery in. So as we remembered from before, Positive side is down or upside down. Positive, negative. You always want to check for tears, wraps, uh, damaged wraps or anything like that. And also dented positive or negative sides of your battery. This one's fine. And look at this. It just Since this is curved here and curved here, we can just take our battery and we can just slide it right in. Every portion of this shell design is meant to hold everything without any movement or rattling. So now when I fire... Squat. So once everything is lined up in place, everything's positioned, get a little wet in there and just fire so clean and it feels really, really good. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to put it in the pocket, lock it up, and you're good to go. All right, so let's zoom back out and let's take the Boxer Mod Classic BF Squonk Mechanical Mod for a vape. So there you go. Really, really beautiful. Amazing attention to detail in the development of this product. And I would expect nothing less from Ginger Vapor. Uh, I love all the Boxer Mods. I've enjoyed the hell out of them. Uh, I love 3D printed mods. I love the lightweight feel, uh, the er ergonomics, the design. Um, and also, there's something about having a squonking device that locks that I can put in my pocket. I think that is probably the biggest feature that I appreciate in a mechanical squonking device is the ability to confidently take it out with me on the road where these things really shine. You know, grab my batteries, grab my mod, one in here, two in here, and then I'm ready to hit the road. Uh, you know, seven milliliters of juice, I can vape. In my RDA, I have the Pulse on here right now. Uh, you know, I've been sort of going between the Icon, the Skill, and the Pulse, and I just love it. I love it. Uh, it's just such a great setup. Single 18650 battery. Can't wait for the 2700 version and the other version that they have coming out. Um, but it's just a really wonderful device. So let me take this for a vape. So I'm going to unlock it, and I'm just going to fire. Really amazing contact point. This thing hits very, very hard. I can feel the connection being made. It just feels instantaneous and I don't feel any voltage loss in there whatsoever. Love the battery door. Love that I can remove it. Pull my batteries out. Don't have to worry about tears or anything like that. Everything just feels solid. It snaps into place. Everything is just well buttoned down on this device, okay? The only con that I have to say about this thing, the only one, is there's a little bit of button rattle. A lot of bit of button rattle, okay? It's not really rattly when I'm using it, and when it's locked, it's not going to rattle. Uh, but when you have it in the fire position, which you're only going to use when you're vaping, and your finger's going to be on it anyway, um, it does have a little rattle, and that's because of this sliding mechanism inside here. You guys saw that when I took it apart, but I have to point it out in this review. 
Everything sits flush. Love the spring-loaded 510. Love the fact that I don't have to clean all the contacts in here because they're rhodium plated. Beautiful, brilliant, okay? Also, I love the fact that you can buy accent kits. So if you want to upgrade, if you want to spend some money, you can get different color matching components for this and really change the look of your Squonk device. If you want to buy these beautiful super soft refill bottles, they have them on the site. If you want to buy batteries, they have them on the site. So anything you want for this device, you have uh, the 510 connection. Okay, I need to point that out. It is just perfect. I mean, it is flush as flush. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Great spring, great contact, great threads. Uh, it just feels top notch as it should because this is a premium price product. Now, this device is extremely popular. Lots of people want them. On the webpage, the link below if you're interested in picking this up, they have all the shipping dates. If you order it on this date, they tell you when it's gonna be shipped. I know for a fact that Ginger Vapor is totally committed to excellence. They're always innovating, they're always looking at improving, and they're not gonna settle for putting something out on the market that's not completely and 100% ready for prime time. This thing arrived, it's ready, it's great, I love it, and I can highly recommend it. Um, it's definitely been a daily carry for me since it arrived, and paired with the Pulse, single 18650, beautiful squonking pleasure. Uh, I think 0.12 is where I like to vape, which is what I have it right now. Little squeeze, little unlock, and then it's bliss. It really is a wonderful little mod. Pocket friendly, palm friendly, vape friendly. The boxer, love it. Pick yourself up one, link below. And that's it, guys. I got a whole lot more where this came from. I'll see you real soon right here on the Vapor Chronicles. Have a good one.